trying to be chopped off. I go to the places other people don't choose to go. I'm a little bit sick of people sitting in glossy radio and TV studios telling us stuff. So I go to these places. So I went to no-go Sweden, um, spent some time in the no-go zones of Sweden, uh, where only migrants really can go. These are dangerous areas now. Uh, Sweden is at a 140-year high for its crime rate right now uh, because of the gang warfare there with the Somalis. Whilst I was in Sweden, a lady spoke to me. So many people have been raped there. And she said she was frightened of talking to me, not because uh, that she might be targeted and raped, but she was frightened of the liberal feminists who would come after her for being racist. Uh, she used to arm herself. She was living just off the no-go zone. She used to arm herself with pepper spray, but then the Swedish government brought a case against the girl who was raped, but she pepper sprayed the wrong guy. So they were banned from carrying pepper spray. I mean, this is how far we are bowing down. And that's Sweden. Um, and if I think of other areas I've gone, I traveled from uh, Libya across the Med to Italy with the migrants and spent two nights as well in the Calais migrant camp where my arms were dislocated in a small skirmish with some migrant men. Uh, but my point rather being is that these are fighting age men. These are men who are willing to take, steal, hurt, kill to get what they want. And you know, they give us this line that where they escaped one was so frightening. If it was so frightening, how come you left your men, your, sorry, your women and your children behind? I mean, please. The other thing that really disturbs me, and it's something Douglas didn't quite go this far in his book, is, you know, if Islam is so fantastic, why is it that Muslims always want to seek refuge in Christian lands? You know, answer me that question, but please. So Douglas Murray book, uh, absolutely accurate, correct. The fall of Europe absolutely is amongst us. And how it's working out, um, I just did a movie, uh, Homelands on this. Jewish communities are going to Israel, 8,000 last year alone. Um, and Christian families like mine um, are looking towards Hungary and Poland because Hungary and Poland, God love them, have stood firm. Not one mosque, no immigration from the Muslim community. Christian lands, they're not taking any messing about. So we are looking in the next 20 to 30 years towards the East as a place that we may run. Yeah, and Hungary is keeping 